Hey everyone, and welcome to the True Blue Podcast. I am your host, Zachary Sucardi. You can find me on Instagram at True Blue Podcast. This is my inaugural interview podcast. I have my friend Kate. She is here. Um, we are going to talk self care. We are going to have a gratitude list later. And then Kate's going to share a song that she has on repeat. Um, Kate is a great friend of mine. We've known each other over 10 years. I met her at work. Um, she's starting a podcast uh, of her own called Bear Naked. It's bear like B-E-A-R, naked. Uh, you can find her on Instagram at bear, B-E-A-R dot N dot A-K-E-D. It's a women's wellness podcast, and I'm just so excited to have her on. She's such a dear friend. So, Kate, how we how we feeling? We're feeling great. Thank you so much for having me. Um, honestly, I, I really just, I'm excited to finally do this interview with you. I think it's something that, you know, I kind of expected us to do along the way, but it's kind of great that we're doing it now because I am uh, getting muddy in the world of the podcast. So I'm really excited to be here for that specifically and, you know, just kind of spend some time with you here. I think it's, I'm excited. Awesome. Me too. You know, this is my first like interview podcast. I've done solo ones up until now. And, um, Kate and I, we just have such a, a great friendship, and I always enjoy our back and forth. We were joking earlier about, like, after we hang out, I feel like I owe Kate a copay. And um, just the exchange, you know, where it's not transactional, it's not just, like, the whole time I'm bitching to you about something or you to me the whole time. Like, And, and if that ever comes up, sure, that's what good friends are for. But it's just nice because we have an exchange, and there's something that... Um, that that we're both getting from it and yeah it's balanced i feel fed after after having time with you even if even if it's you know that session is more zach heavy or k heavy i feel like i always get something out of it which is why i was saying you know i think friendships are probably the most selfish relationships we can have especially when the balance exists because we're allowed to be our worst self and then depend on that person to pull us up. And the friend does pull you up, you know, always when I'm at my lowest and I have that exchange with the people that I'm, that I feel like it's a balanced relationship. I'm always better for it. As like, I, as I told you, it's kind of like going to the gym where you come out and you're happier mm. than when you went in. Oh, every time, every time. Mm. So, wow, your uh, your intros very smooth. I really like it. Um, what are you calling these interviews? I think I'm calling them True Blue Views because uh, I like the True Blue name, and it all kind of rhymes. But it almost mm -hmm. feels like a tongue twister, like I'm tripping over True Blue Views. Yeah, that means it's not right, though. I think probably. I I, I think I'm gonna pivot to true views or or just go true blue podcast with the fucking interview you know like i i i don't want to overthink it i don't want to be like blah, 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 blah. oh my yeah. god I, I fucking barely got that word out um but yeah i for right now like and i i'm kind of excited about this like i'm just kind of rolling with the punches i'm just like well, okay cool i want to talk to my friend kate and then we kind of have an itinerary, but nothing is set in stone. Nothing is exact. And like, that's kind of how self-care can be sometimes, you know, you, you, you can't plan on every moment of your day. You know, these things happen variables and, you know, kids get stung by wasps and, you know, you <laughs> fucking step in dog do, you know, at four in the morning or mm -hmm. whatever, you know, so it's just sort of, you know, rolling with the punches, you know? Um, so um, and I'm just like, the goal is to have a conversation to highlight self-care and, uh, have some fun and have a connection, you know, like just that's what I'm all about is connection, you know? Me too. Love the connection. Love it. It's my favorite. Um, literally why I live and breathe. I love connection. So just 
for your information. Um, I wrote up a little page for today's chat before we got on the phone and I called it Zach chat and I loved that. Oh, I like it. So that's what I'm going to call it every time we have a chat. Like every time we talk is the Zach chat because it deserves a name. <laughs> so I don't know if that's what you want to use, but I loved it. And I just thought I'd share it. Um, but yeah, it's simple. Why complicate it? Exactly. So many complicated things. So many things to, you know, Zach chat. I like that. I hear ack ack when I. Yeah, it's like, a C-H-C-H. C-H. Yeah, yeah, you have the C-H, yeah. Um, it doesn't rhyme, but I don't know. Simple. Yeah, I simple. Like um, so what do you want to get into first? What do you want to talk about? So let's let's talk about self-care. Let's, let's get into that, and then I want to talk about your podcast. I want to talk about just, like, you know, the reasons behind it, your like, vision with it, and then we can go over a gratitude list. And a song, the gratitude list and a song I want to do on every podcast, because I think it's, it helps retrain your brain, your energy when you're, you know, when you're sort of confronted with a, with a gratitude list. Um, cause sometimes, you know, like for me, the, like the, like purpose of that would be, we're just so on go, we're just going forward and it's nice to stop and say, wow, you know, Hey, what am I grateful for? And, you know, if you're not having a good day or if you're overwhelmed or sad or whatever the case may be, gratitude, I think, can really pull you out of that a little bit. Even just for the couple moments that we have that discussion, you know, it may not change your whole day, but just to know, hey, there's, there's balance, you know, there's there's uh, other things happening here. And then the song, I just love the idea of the song because, you know, I'm just such a music guy and, you know, music is self-care. There's just... I remember a long time ago reading something about, you know, it said like, treat yourself to a song. I thought, wow, what a kind of an interesting way of, it sounds kind of corny, like I'm treating myself to a song. But um, as far as like the self-care part, I really like it. It's like, you know, someone could just put on a song, put on a, a movie or read a book or whatever, in this case, music, you know, and it's just sort of there. But to really go, wow, I'm really doing something for myself here is just pretty cool. So. So, um, let's talk about your self-care routine, Kate. Talk to me about the, some of the things that you do on a daily basis to, to feed Kate and to love Kate. So, I was actually playing around because I'm trying to really formal, formalize, formalize what I want my podcast and my mission statement to be. Like, I'm trying to crunch it out. Like, I wrote up... Uh, I'm I'm sorry, this is a long story, guys. I, I I use a lot of stories and stuff, but I'm trying to essentially get to what I want to do with the podcast. And initially I was going with that um aggressive vulnerability thing. Remember mm-hmm. I talked to you a little bit about that? Mm-hmm. Uh where I'm just, you know, I'm tired of pretending vul- vulnerability isn't strength. I'm tired of pretending like um mental health is an optional thing these are not optional things like we need to take better care of ourselves and we need to take better care of each other and i think that we can do that by creating a safe place where we can be truthful and honest about who we are and there not be shame associated with it and i would love to be able to create an audience that does that for someone that's really what my mission is. I want to create an audience so that not only we are able to support each other better, but we're able to hear each other better and be more connected with each other at at, at the human level. So it's now going to be aggressive care because I can't control as to whether or not somebody is comfortable enough to be vulnerable. But what I can do, what I can actively do is provide care. Hmm. And create, and hopefully create a space where that is there for them. So I'm aggressively caring, and I'm aggressively establishing a place where where it's okay, and not only okay, but it's encouraged to start caring for people on a deeper level, on a more meaningful level. Because I feel like 
in my short tenure as a person, I'm 40 years old, but I have seen the erosion of human connection through technology. I know it's there. Everybody's more, you know, into their phones than their relationships now um, on a real level. And I just want to reestablish that and make sure that we as humans do a better job connecting and caring for each other, specifically women, because that's where I think it's, you know, needed the most. Mm-hmm. I love men and everybody that I talk to, you know, they're like, oh, men, don't be a don't be a man hating place. And, you know, it's never even occurred to me that that would be at all associated with this. Um, I think, honestly, in a lot of ways, and I'm not saying, you know. I just think that we should affect the change we can bring. And I think we can change the way women treat women. And that should be our focus more than anything else. I think women need to do a better job at caring for other women on a whole. And that's what I really am focused on. So that's a lot. I don't know (laughs) if that's as contrite as I wanted it to be, but I do. I just want to create a space where that's celebrated and supported more than anything. Beautiful. And talk about the name and like, I mean, you, you kind of explained it, but yeah, uh, the name bare naked, um, it came from that premise of aggressive vulnerability, Mm -hmm. bare naked, um, exposure, telling our, you know, telling how we really feel. Um, but my, I'm half Irish, half Italian, and my Irish side is the bear clan, O'Sullivan bear. And that I always associated with my mom because she was Irish side. And I just feel like eventually I want to create a parent company called Mama Bear, but that's way down the line. The mm-hmm. podcast itself is a way for me to essentially let my mission be known and obtain, you know, enough of a following where we can affect real change for women in the long run. But ultimately, I'm trying to reel back those lofty goals right now and focus on what I can do for women right now. I think a lot of people over the last five years or so have been like, yeah, that's terrible, but what can we do about it Uh, with anything, with anything that's going on in the media? Mm-hmm. And this is my way of doing something about it. Beautiful. I love that. I love that you're wanting to get out there and express and, you know, that aggressive vulnerability. Um, mm-hmm. I like that. It's very confident. And anything that puts vulnerability in a positive light to encourage it, I think is uh, is uh, sort of uh, just... It, it's needed, you know, it's, it's, it, well, there's definitely a deficit for it. Um, because the more I've been vulnerable through the podcast, through poetry, the more I, I feel freer and I feel like, Hey, that wasn't so bad. And anytime I'm somewhere where I hear someone else speaking their piece, I was like, wow, I'm like attracted to that person. And there's something that's so, um, freeing to hear someone, you know, talk about, something that you know whatever time frame you want to look at it people didn't or they would talk about it in closed doors or write about it in their journal or just would not talk about it so um I'm, I'm glad to hear that you've kind of grabbed that idea ran with it and you want to you know turn that around and like you said create that space and uh be able to confidently say hey this is how how I'm feeling. This is what's going on. And to be focused on women's wellness, I think, is 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 beautiful. It is. I mean, I think uh, there have been many times in my life where I've leaned and needed needed my my community of women, and I've depended upon women my whole life. Um. And I just look at this gift that I have with my sisters and my aunts and my mother and and my friendships. And I know that this, like, like, like we've said it before, it feeds me. It nourishes me. It makes me able to endure a lot more with their company than without. 
And I essentially want to provide that to all women because I don't think all women have it. I know not all women have it. And the older you get, the harder it is to have it. So I don't know. I'm, I'm going to give my best, my bet, the best of myself. I'm offering that with the podcast and I hope people like it. (laughs) I hope they like it. You know, I hope it, I hope they get fed from it. Honestly. Um, the first interview I've already started and I have, I can tell you it's taken my breath away many times. Um, and really helped me refine my focus, you know, in, in what I really want to do with it. But I'm, I've determined it's going to be a two part series and it's called the birth. It's going to get messy because it's our birth episode. It's our first episode. Mm -hmm. Why not talk about the one thing that unites us all, you know? So, um, I hope to have that out early fall and our Instagram is available now and just really, um, is so positive and so focused on women's wellness. So I encourage you to check it out. Like you said, it's at bare, um, bare naked, which is bare period and period a K E D. But I do want to move this back to your question because you did ask me a very poignant question. And I I think it's it's going to share kind of my insights here and what I want to do and my my absolute commitment to be as genuine and as honest as I can with who I am and my experience as a woman. So um, we talked about this previously, and I told you I have a very hard time with self-care. It's difficult for me to balance my life effectively with all the things that I need to do. I can be really great in one aspect and then terrible in another. And that's pretty much, you know, vacillating between those two roles. Like, Oh, I'm great at work. I'm a terrible mom. Oh, I'm great at being a mom. Now I'm terrible at work. Going back and forth between those two primary roles in my life has literally been my adulthood to this point. Hmm. So anytime I've been able to sprinkle in self-care, like to me, self-care is working out, painting, things that make me feel more like myself. Um, That's self-care to me. So sprinkling that in as much as I have, you know, it's more like an accessory to life instead of life. Hmm. I like that. And because it's just an accessory because it hasn't taken on, a, you know, the the lead role, um, I'm able to abandon it when I need to. I'm able to chop it off, disregard it. So I'm saying today, self-care is very much like take care, which very much seems to me like you do it because I'm not going to. You take care of yourself because I can't. And I call bullshit on self-care a little bit because of that. Because if somebody is drowning and you're like, self-care, take care. (laughs) See, And you're fucking drowning. You're like, okay, I'll take a bath, but who's going to make dinner? Hmm. I'll take a bath, but who's going to make sure Moses breeds and doesn't get stung by another wasp? Like, what can I sacrifice to take care of me? And so I, I love self-care as a premise because it is a reminder that you are taking care of everyone else in your life. What about you? Like that acknowledgement is critical mm-hmm. and it's required for me to come up with my theory, which is triple D, triple D, like the boobs. <laughs> <laughs> so triple D. Triple D. So I self-care is great and it should definitely be used as the foundation of triple D. Triple D is a basic premise where you go in and you're like, okay, this month, every month you calibrate yourself because I like to keep it a little bit loose, a little bit easy. This month I want to focus on fitness. This month I want to focus on finance. This month I want to focus on something, okay, that Mm -hmm. I want to do for me. So this month for me would be fitness. So I'm going to dedicate one hour a day to fitness. And how am I going to do that? Because shit happens all the time. And when you're 
you know, when you got kids, you got their shit piled on top of your shit, which makes it way harder. So I decided the first D is drop it. Drop something from your life. Drop a noun from your life. Mm. Drop a person, place, or thing. So all the things that women specifically, and I can only speak from a woman's experience, so I hate that this is so heavy with the woman thing, but that's where I'm at. So with with the drop it, I could drop a person, place, or a thing. So a person, when it comes to mind, it's like, okay, maybe the friendship that I'm not getting fed from. Maybe I don't continue to invest in that. And I free up that hour a week. Maybe it's a place. Maybe I don't deep clean the kitchen or deep clean the, the floors at the house. Maybe I don't make that doctor's appointment today. Maybe I go to the gym instead. Hmm, I Maybe like I don't run that errand that, you know, needs to be done this week, but doesn't need to be done this de- day. That day, that hour is a priority every day for whatever your goal is that month. So you can either drop it or you can delegate it to someone that loves you. Because mm-hmm. another p- persistent problem that I see in the women that I love's life, and these are some of the women you love, you know, they won't ask for help. They will not ask for help. They don't even know how to ask for help. Like I have to pry helping my sisters out of them. I have to just do it, just show up because they'll never ask for it. So start asking for it. And I mean it, ask for it, ask for it from the people that do feed you. Be a little bit more sloppy with those that love you because that's how they show they love you. Delegate it or delay it, reschedule it within that time. So drop it, delegate it, or delay it. You have to get rid of something that's not reciprocal to make sure you're taking care of you. It's not always going to be this one thing. It might have to be, you might need a plan for delegation. You might might need a plan for dropping it. You might need to just reschedule it, but whatever it is, it doesn't take precedent over you. And it's flexible and it's easy and it literally cuts down the jobs. Things that women put themselves through, the lists that we create to get done in a day are ridiculous. And it doesn't always have to be that difficult. We can prioritize ourselves if we have a flexible way and it's not always at my kid's detriment or always at my husband's detriment or always at my sister's detriment. Keep it flexible, but make sure that that's the priority. So that to me would be the best self-care management system for me. I created it for for you. <laughs> go uh, go over that again. Uh, drop, delegate. What was the first one? Or delay. Delay. Okay. Oh, uh, what are those? <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. I didn't fucking. So Kate, Kate can see me, right? We have a video here, and there were some fucking balloons that just showed up in the background. I have no clue. <laughs> my hands. Yeah. Well, maybe it was maybe it just like my double triple D. Yeah, yeah. Maybe maybe it was <laughs> telling you that you're on, you're on to something. Um that was that was hilarious. Um very cool. I I like that. So um I was thrown off by those balloons, which no one will will be able to see, but so it was uh so drop, delegate. Or delay. Delay, okay. Delegate. Or delay. Delay, okay. I like that because, uh, like, so I know, like, you you gave an example of, you know, uh, making that doctor's appointment. Um, sometimes stuff like that is, it, it, it's kind of heavy. I, um, I had an, an ex-girlfriend who, at the time, I, I didn't understand how she couldn't make a doctor's appointment. Like, it was t- totally stressed her out, totally stressed her out. Mm-hmm. And I tried to say, hey, I can help you. I'd be happy to, like, you know, call or, you know, get you the, like, number. And that still was too much. So, in that case, I dropped it for sure. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but 
I like this because sometimes, like, when I think about, like, if we just look at exercise, okay, so one hour, okay, let's just say we just pick an hour, which you could do a half hour or 10 minutes, whatever the hell, but one hour. Like, you, you, you think about how you would spend that hour otherwise. Sometimes you're just, you know, dragging ass and you're on your phone or you're, you know, um, cleaning up something that does not need your, your attention at that time or you're doing a load of laundry that you could just do later. When right. You could be at the gym. You could be going for a walk. And it's just it's amazing. A matter of, yeah, doing the boundary, creating the boundary, and making it a priority. And I think it's overwhelming because you're right. There's so many times dur- throughout the day I'm just laying down. But I'm like, oh, I'm a single mother. Oh, it's so hard. Oh, and there are days that it is quite chaotic and crazy, and there's no way. But on those days, where it's crazy and chaotic and it's not easy. I've already built it for when it was easy. You know what I mean? With that standard mm-hmm. of nothing touches this. Whatever this issue is, if I say I'm going to go to the gym from 830 to 930 every morning. And Jen's like, oh, I need a ride. Can you give me a ride? I'll say, yeah, after that. Or if I if she needs it right then, then I delegate it. Meaning you like you find someone to give her a ride or you mm-hmm. try to compromise and say Okay. I'm like, oh I can't, but I'll call back. You know, something like that. Hmm. Like have as you know just realize the people in your life are there to help you. They want to help you. Nobody wants to ask, but they want to help. Yes. And the the follow-up for me is so essential, like to people that you care about, you know, like the answer may be no, but it's not just no period. It's no comma. What about calling your sister? What about, um, you coming to the gym with me or, or after or just trying to, trying to work with those, you know, I, I'm, I'm always so attentive to when you have a, an exchange with somebody, if they can't, come through, say yes, do they just tell you no, or is there any sort of follow-up of, hey, I can't hang out on Saturday, but on Sunday night, I'm going to have some people over, I'd love if you'd come, like, just for me at least, maybe maybe I'm being sensitive here, but when I think about, like, the follow-up, like, do you really want to, like, be a part of my life, or is there something, like, I, I was dating this girl, and it's like a power struggle sometimes with her. And it's, it's a little annoying to be quite honest with you. And I know it's like, all right, can you hang out this day? No, I cannot. Okay. So is it just no, that's it. Like you're not interested. Is it no? Is there some sort of weird power struggle or is it like, no, but I can hang out these days. You know, just, yeah. I mean, I'm kind of from my problem to an, our problem. Let's solve it together. Like, we both mutually want to see each other, so let's figure it out. And it it's no longer that. Now it's, you work for me, you know? You work around my schedule. If I say no, then there's no follow-up, you know? Yes. Yeah, it's just fascinating how, like, just the, you know, kind of how you were talking about, like, how you, how you, how you, how you need people, and, you know, we, we're, we're sort of there for each other. And it's just interesting how it comes out or, or, or it doesn't, you know, and that's why like, for me, like such the emphasis, Kate is, you know, really like being, being with people who, who really care for you, who really care about you, you know, like that in a way is a good self-care tip or practice, I should say, Yeah, is, you know, sort of trimming the fat, you know, not to be like, oh, fuck these people. I'm so, I'm a new person, you know, none of that nonsense, that self-righteous bullshit, but just more of like. Hey, who's really there? Is it my is it my friends, my family? Is it, you know, my neighbor, my coworker? Like who who are the people that are really showing up in my life? And then figuring that out and giving those people your energy, your time, because you know, to me that's definitely my love language, quality time, acts of service, you know, like mm-hmm. when I see people doing those things for me, I'm I'm like, wow, I'm so blessed, you know, and it's just I think that that can be helpful, you know, as far as how to, 
how to uh, trim the fat and, you know, how to just take care of yourself. And I think that's, I'm kind of going off on a tangent here, but that is definitely something that I've put into practice over the last, let me just say five years. You know, I'm, I'm not calling everyone on their, on their birthday all the time and then being kind of left out and go, what the fuck? I never hear back from this person, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but then there's these other people who I'm, I'm constantly in communication with and I want to give those people my energy and my love and, you know. Because that's what it's about. That, that, that exchange, the energy, the connection, that's what it's about. And the people, we need to start really... I think everybody on a whole needs to really start feeding those that feed you. Mm. And that way the assholes in your life that don't feed you and aren't contributing, they get their just desserts, which is alone time. (laughs) I don't think anybody should be giving narcissists or evil people that just take and take and take from you any type of play. I think that's, I mean, that's the fix, right? It's just to give the connection and the love and the energy to the people that feed you back. And if we all did that on a higher level, I think some behaviors would be changed personally Mm -hmm. because everybody needs it. Everybody wants it. Who deserves it? Yeah. I I guess it's like getting older or just maybe having more, having more reps in as far as like the friend game, the people game, you know, and just really, like I, I used to think of it like, you know, all right, we have a, a a football team. I have all these wonderful friends, you know, it's 53 people. Right. And then I, uh-huh. I think, all right, maybe it's basketball, 15 people. You know, I got a starting lineup and I got some people on the bench, you know, <laughs> and then maybe it's a, uh, you know, uh, doubles tennis now, you know, where I got one yeah. fucking solid person, you know, that <laughs> I can, I can count on, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. um, and you know it, it definitely can fluctuate with this with my analogy there but um yeah just to have one fucking solid person who can hold you accountable who you can be vulnerable with who you can be vulnerable with who you can go to those places with is such a blessing cuz not to have that to me is just like oh man that's that just has to be rough so i am very grateful for for you Kate and for others in in my life more of the basketball team than the, than the football team that I can, mm-hmm. I can be Zach with, I can open up to, I can, you know, uh, I can drop delegate and delay and they're still going to love me. They're not going to be right. like, what the fuck you're going to the gym or what the fuck you're asking me for a ride or what the hell you mean next week? You know, it's like, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Thank God for you. Amen. I like that though. The double D's or triple D's rather yeah. drop, delegate, <laughs> delay. That's yeah. good. So yeah, that's, I like that. So you are, you are, you are practicing this or you are, you're sort of, yeah. some, some of your goal is to be practicing this. Is to be uh, implementing this. Yeah, definitely. Um, definitely. We'll see. We're going to see. Uh, I think the things that get attention are the things that, you know, take up your life. So I'm going to give it some attention. Beautiful. But I, I do. I feel like we have to be trained a bit. Mm. Trained a bit. Mm-hmm. So that's my version of self-care. That's what I'm doing for self-care. That's, that's my self-care area right now. So... I wanted to share that. I love it because it's, it's real. You're not like, I have a perfect plan, Zach. Here it is. Step one. You know, like, it's just like, look, I'm being real with y'all. Here's what I've come up with. Triple D's. You know, we all, you know, like we, we, we can all relate. Uh, It all, you know, kind of brings a smile and then keeping it simple. Um, And I like that. I will follow up with you. We will, we will. And I like the way you put it. Like, who can I drop, delay, or delegate to? Who are those people? What's my circle? Like, the way you put that, beautiful. Because you're right. That's your circle. And you need your circle in order to love yourself. You need, you need help. You need help. So. Yeah, amen. You know, like, I, 
I was talking to someone recently and they were like, they were, the, I don't know, I was probably like a customer and they were thanking me for something. And I was just like, hey, we need each other here, you know? And they were like, wow. You know, I mean, I don't know this person. They were just someone that I was speaking to, you know, in the, in the, in the work environment. But just to say that to them and have them kind of take a minute. And I'm, I'm thinking like, we're all in this together, you know, kind of a thing. Like we all kind of can use that. So, um, beautiful. That is, that I love is, that. I yeah. Love that. Yeah. Just giving, giving someone a little bit of time, you know, letting people vent. It's amazing. Um, especially like here, you and I are talking about it, having, you know, conversation and giving examples. There are folks out there who don't even, you know, scratch, scratch the surface and stuff like this. So when they have someone who's going to listen or going to encourage them, it's, you know, it can change their whole day. It can. So Catherine, um, we have, uh, we have to discuss a gratitude list. Um, and then of course the song, um, because I love what you brought today with the drop, delegate, and delay. That is that's beautiful. That's so creative. And I, I love how like prepared you are and also how fluid, you know, you just kinda go kinda just go with it. Um Thank you, Zach. Thank you. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's, yeah I've been thinking. I've been ruminating. I've been just, you know, percolating since we last talked about it. And I'm like why why is it so hard for me? Because it doesn't always look the way, you know, life is not Instagram. It's not. It's messy. Ha, 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 ha. You know what I mean? It's real messy. And <laughs> Golly, I fucking hear that. I remember I was dating this one girl. I won't say her name. But she was so miserable. And I look at her Instagram. I'm like, who the fuck? I showed her phone. Who is this? Who the fuck is this? <laughs> Like, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? You're fucking miserable fucking, you know? Ah. Yeah. Golly, yeah. 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 So I think we need to be kind to each other and be kind to ourselves and take small steps. Whatever works for you. Yeah. Fucking take care of yourself. <laughs> and if you need help, reach out to the people you love. Like, let's take care of ourselves. Care. Aggressive care. Right? Yes. Let's start doing it. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, exactly. Like turn it around, have some confidence with it, being mm -hmm. aggressively vulnerable, you know? Yeah. It works. It's true blue. It's genuine. It's that's what matters, folks. That's the sauce of life. Hmm. Being yourself and having the people around you that love you and support your you as you. That's it. Very simple. Uh, I love it. So, Kate, Thank give you. me uh, give me three things that you're that you're grateful for today. <laughs> you might like this one. You might like this one. Um, I'm grateful for Ray, Eugene, Jellerson. <laughs> and who is that? That is my stepdad. So I've been unemployed now three weeks, and this week I called uh, unemployment of New Mexico. And I said, it's been three weeks. What's going on? Is there anything going on? Like, do I need to get any paperwork? What's the delay? And she literally laughed at me and was like, three weeks is nothing. Three weeks is nothing. And I'm like, three weeks means my rent's due. Three weeks means my car payment's due. Like, new bills are due. Like, yeah. this is scary. I'm scared. I've worked my whole life. I've never been in this position where I'm financially dependent on anyone but myself. Like, scared scared all week um and joan had set up earlier this week for us to go out and take care of my stepdad he lives in the rural of new mexico which anyone that lives in new mexico know that that's hard living hard mm -hmm. living and he um is on a property that he owned with my mother she has been dead uh 14 years so he's just been living there and he does not clean as, you know, he's an older guy. It's harder for him to get around. So the house is not tip top shape. So when we go out there, we got to clean and we got to, you know, help him a little bit with a few things. And Joan drives him to the appointments and I stay at the house and clean. 
Well, this week I had to borrow a substantial amount of money from him just to keep the wolf from the door until I get unemployment. And not only did he graciously give it to me, but then he acted like, ain't no thing. I got you. And I was able to clean his house a little bit and do a little bit of laundry for him, but he did not make me feel bad about it in any way. And I'm so grateful that he has my back because he's my stepdad, not my real dad. And he has not only done this for me, but he's done this for multiple members of my family multiple times without batting an eye. And I love him fiercely and I'm so thankful for him. Oh, that's great. So, mm-hmm. Yeah, I was talking to my sister about it recently, how, like, man, asking people for money is fucking tough. And any, like, I, I had a friend ask me for just, you know, a couple dollars recently. And I was like, no problem. You know, happy to send it to her. I sent her, like, a little more. And it felt so good because I've been on the other side of it and asking people for money fucking sucks. So when the person... I'd rather cut off my fingers. Ah, for real. Like, I fucking hate man. it. I oh, hate my God. It. Same here. I'm, I'm, I'm selling <laughs> shit. I mean, I'm not selling my record I box. mean, don't ask him for me. That's uh, how bad I hate it. I hate it. Oh, it sucks. Ugh. It feels so small and, and all this shit. But yeah. when someone, someone like just makes it like no thing and, you know, of course, I love you. It's like... Oh, man, this is like a real moment here. So I'm grat- grat- my gratitude is that I'm loved like that by a man that didn't have to. Ah, that's he awesome. Didn't have to. Um, so I'm giving him all three. Wow, maybe. damn. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> three stars, Ray. Triple D. <laughs> Triple D Ray. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is that is out of the park. That's a grand slam. That's a grand slam. That's that's great. Yeah. Uh, I love that. That is so cool. That is so cool. Um All right, Kate, talk to me about uh a song. What's a song you have on repeat and or a song that you listen to whether you realize it or not for a self-care reason, which is any reason? Um, so I've just, I feel like in the last two weeks, I've really started to see some of the work I've been doing, not only, um, with the podcast and with my mental health and with my diet and with going to the gym, like I've done some pretty consistent things that I'm proud of and I'm starting to feel happier, feel lighter, feel more, not angry. I'm not angry. So I am listening to Joey by Concrete Blonde on repeat. I love it. And just, I don't know. I, I, I had another like brief period with it about three years ago, four years ago, where it was all I'd listened to for like three months. And he's back. He's back. So that's what I'm listening to right now. Awesome. I'm not familiar. Like the, the band name sounds familiar. Concrete Blonde, but I'm not familiar with the song, so I will definitely be listening to this, checking it out. And Joey is great. Awesome. Yeah, that's I have a bunch of friends named Joey, believe it or not. Not not Joe or Joseph, but Joey. Believe it or not. Oh, shout out, yeah. Shout out to them. Um, cool. Well, hey, this is great. I'm gonna include this on a playlist. So this will be the first song on it, which is Concrete Blonde Joey. Wow, okay. Thank you so much for sharing that with me. It's so cool. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thanks for the interview. Thanks for Thanks for everything, Zach. Thanks for your friendship. Thanks for being a blessing in my life. Um, thanks for doing this and helping others. Like, you're top shelf, bud. Thank you. Uh, you are welcome, Kay. And thank you for all that, too. It's just awesome. Um, really, really, really means a lot. So tell, tell the people again where they can find you on social medias and tell them again a little bit about when your podcast is going to be available for them. Connect with us now on Instagram. We're at bear.n.a.aked for Bear Naked. Um, I will be posting through Podbeam. Um, the goal is to definitely have it out early fall. We're looking at, you know, October. Um, the first episode. It will be a two-part episode, and it's going to be under Bare Naked. 
directly. That's the name of the podcast. And again, it's women's wellness. Um, we're here to unite. We're here to care. So I hope you guys will give us a listen and thank you again so much for not only the interview, but the airtime, Zach, I appreciate it. Beautiful. And just to be uh, clear, it's bear, like, like B E A R, like an actual bear, not. Yeah. Like okay. aggressive. <laughs> okay, cool. Cool. Just, just want to make that clear. So when yeah. folks are looking for it. Awesome. Well, beautiful, Kay. This was a great first episode. I really enjoyed chatting with you. I love the triple D's. I love the Ray talk. I love it all. So, um, everyone, you can you can find me on Instagram at True Blue Podcast. Uh, I hope everyone has a great week. Take care of each other out there. Remember, music is self care, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. <laughs>